This one I'm nervous about because like, if this is the same. Oh, we're saving money year round, baby. This is where the plot really thickens. I'm afraid to even say this one because I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this. And I'm not saying this one is confirmed. I'm saying this one is a rumor. Okay. Hi. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, okay, here, let, okay, let me explain. Ooh, first of all, ooh, gotta get my butt plug. Uh, not sponsored, but this is the best butt plug I've ever used. I'm kidding, it's a water bottle. What was I talking about? Why am I filming? Okay, so I'm actually filming a main channel video tomorrow. Everything's a lie! And I got out the camera because I needed to charge the batteries and stuff. And I was like, I have not filmed something in a long time. And I'm just feeling really nervous and confused. I don't know how much to do. My, my hair, I need a haircut. Like, I don't know what to wear. Like, everything's weird now. I'm almost 35. I have 12 kids on the way. I don't want to talk about it. I do want to talk about it. I have 12 kids on the way. That sounds... I mean, I have 12 kids cooking. Or no, not... I have 12 potential kids that I could cook. That's worse. <laughs> I have, I got a bunch of eggs and they are all expensive. <laughs> no, I have, I have a bunch of eggs with Ryland, with our sperms. And um, we have kids, we have kids coming, maybe, hopefully. Oh, who's texting me? Ooh, it's about my will. Side note, did a will meeting today. Really interesting to think about what's gonna happen when I die. Anyways, what I was gonna say is, what was I gonna say? Oh, I wanna have more fun on YouTube. I feel, Biden? Um, what's with the balloon? I have questions. I don't go on the internet anymore, but then somebody texted me and was like, Biden just shot down a balloon! And I was like, on his birthday? Like, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Anyways, I wanna have more fun, and I don't, this lighting. There we go, I went to auto. I don't know what that means. My hand looks big! It's not, watch how crazy this is, ready? Watch the, the size of my hand as I go to my body. Look how small it is. I look like one of those tiny hand memes. <sighs> so anyways, I'm gonna try to have more fun. I'm gonna put two of these in at once. Watch me. And <laughs> these are not butt plugs, by the way. I have so many of these. Okay, I don't really watch TikTok, but doesn't that sound like the voice filter that people do when they're like... Do you know? Okay, so my plan today, I want to go over, I have a list of conspiracies that I'm gonna be doing for my main channel video, and a couple of them are too dumb to put in that video. So I wanna test them out over here. But before we get to that, I feel like I need to do an updated tour. So let me show you what I do in my house when I'm not creating content. Okay, so let me show you my office. So what I've been doing lately is I've been writing scripts because I have two different movies that I wanna make at some point before I die. Oh my God, Louie. Hi, Louie. Do you want to show them what you did today? You did that! Good job, Louie! That's great! Thank you so much! I really appreciated that. I really needed that today. <laughs> You're getting nothing in my will. Nothing. Okay, so here's my office. I guess I should explain why there's a big, <laughs> big blow-up mattress in my office. Um, it's because we had people working on the roof and I didn't want to sleep in the other room because they would come at like 6 in the morning for the roof. So then I put a mattress in my office. And now, uh, we just had housekeepers come. Subtle flex. And it was weird because after they cleaned my office, they gave me a look like this. And I realized, oh, they think that I'm fighting with my husband. They think that we're like living separate lives. I'm probably reading too much into it. But we're not fighting. Me and him are fine. We're fine! Me and my husband are fine! And when they pull the plug on me, he's getting everything. So good for him. Okay, so, oh, this is a view. So, yes, this is my office. So I've just been sitting here every night until 5 a.m. trying to finish this script, which I guess I'll give you just um, a piece of it, just so, like, you know what I'm working on. Okay, oh, here we go. Um, slam! Her body falls off the ladder and hits the floor underneath, blood pouring out of her neck like a freshly slaughtered pig. So, obviously, as you can tell, it's a Christmas movie. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> This one is like a horror action kind of comedy thing, but I don't know, I need to figure out how to make a movie because the last three years I had a company tell me they had money to make a movie and then three years into it, they said, okay, we don't have the money to make the movie anymore, but we want to make bobbleheads. So don't worry, I'm not making bobbleheads and I'm not going to do a Kickstarter, I don't think. I don't know. I don't even know how much money I need to make this movie, but I heard somebody say, never fund your own movies because that's how you go broke. And if I were to fund this movie, I would have nothing for my 12 babies. So yeah, that's my plan this year to find a bunch of weird rich people in other countries who think I'm funny. <laughs> hey Dubai! Me? In a relationship with a man? Never! What are you talking about? I don't know him. <laughs> Can I have your money? 
That's Dubai, right? Is that, that's not offensive. Right, Dubai, they don't like gay people. Isn't it illegal? Ugh, the way I do it, it should be. That sounded, anyways. Being bi is weird. I'm gonna buy my movie. Dubai! Oh, okay. Okay, all right, I'm gonna go. Can they arrest me from here? Okay, so I'm gonna wait for Riley to get home. When he does get home, I need to settle on what theory I wanna play with today. I think I wanna do the Girl Scout one. So in the conspiracy video I'm doing, we're talking a lot about brands and like things that they do that are shady. So there's one thing that I found interesting. There's a grocery store called Aldi. And one of the things they're known for is having like dupes of things, but it actually is the same shit. Supposedly, allegedly, don't arrest me. But the one thing they have that I thought was funny was it's Girl Scout season. And Girl Scout cookies are very expensive. I think they're like five bucks. Maybe that's cheap. I don't know, but with the attitude those bitches serve you, like it's not worth it. Kidding, support the Girl Scouts. The moms are assholes. That's a side note. What was I talking about? Samoas! Okay, so <laughs> supposedly Aldi has their own like knockoff Girl Scout cookie section and they have them all year round and they're only like a dollar. So there's an Aldi like 40 minutes away from me. So I'm gonna see if Ryan wants to go with me and I wanna go and I wanna get the Girl Scout cookies from the real Girl Scouts and I wanna get the Aldi ones and I wanna see if they actually taste the same because the rumor is that it's the same manufacturer. So it's the same cookie, but they just put it in a different box, which is crazy to me that that's a, like legal. I don't even know if it's legal, but I need to try it. Companies are so fucking shady, by the way. Just like going through this list of theories I have. Like this one really pissed me off. Somebody posted a picture of these Dorito bags and one of them is, you know, like a normal party size bag of Doritos. And the other one is a bag of Doritos that says, bigger bag, more to share. And the person zoomed in on the actual amount and each bag is the same. So the bag is bigger, but the same Doritos? What does that mean? How is that legal? In the bottom of containers, don't get me started. Like, okay, you know, like cashews? If you flip over the little plastic box of cashews, on the underneath, there's like this big divot. And I was looking into it and I was like, why is there a big divot? Is there a reason for it? Is it something to keep the food fresh? No, it's literally just so that it looks like there's more in there. Cause you can't see the divot when it's sitting on the shelf. Is nobody mad? Am I the only one mad? God, I'm old. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna go work out. I'm waiting for Alan to get home. Ooh, I want matcha. <gasps> Sorry, I'm never gonna do that again. I've just been a matcha girl lately. I'm gonna leave that moment in of me figuring out what to say next because it shows how hard I breathe. Like how naturally hard I breathe on a daily basis. I'm dying, so <laughs> just so you know. Okay, bye. Hello? Okay, where did you find Girl Scout cookies? Oh, they were out. Oh my God, I'm so excited, y'all. I've never said y'all in my life, have I? Y'all, why does that feel real? Anyways, I'm very excited because we're going on a road trip. So I was planning on waiting for Ryland to do this Girl Scout situation, but I realized he's gone. He went on a hike with his friend. What is that like? Both things, hikes, friends, huh? <laughs> so I guess uh, I'm going to take his Tesla and go find these Girl Scout cookies and film this by myself. I guess he could try them with me tonight when he gets back home. So I promise there'll be another human in this video. Okay, so I need to figure out what to wear because like, what do you wear to buy Girl Scout cookies? Also, side note, this is the podcast wardrobe room, which is where I put all of our really stupid clothes that I make everybody wear. And then we never wear them again. And I need to figure out where to donate them. I thought about donating to like a shelter or something, but then I'm like, I mean, I know there's a lot of people who really need clothes, but like, does anybody really need this? <laughs> like, maybe a gay shelter. Is that a tick? No, what is that? I don't know. Okay, what do I wear? <gasps> okay. Another side note, I know, this look is not it. Oh my God, look at this jacket. It has Chucky on it. <laughs> I guess I could wear my Chucky jacket. This is like casual, right? Yeah, I'll just take a few tagalongs and Samoas and can I actually get one less of your fucking judgment? <sighs> Sorry, just thinking about those little scouts is triggering me. <gasps> Should I wear my Bowser back? I feel like nobody else is doing that. <gasps> oh my God, my Bowser back with my peach crown. Just like twisting gender stereotypes. <laughs> I wanted to show you something before we go. I gotta bop it. I wanted to do something this year where I kind of like reclaim my childhood, but like things that I wanted as a kid that I never had because like my mom was like, go play with the box. And I was like, mom, stop, you're degenerate. She did the best she could. And that box was everything. That box was a house, a rocket ship, a police car, a prison. Don't get me started. I lost my virginity in that box. <sighs> Sometimes I wonder where that box is, if that box is thinking about me. How many rats have been chewing on that box? How many other people lost their virginities in that box? What if that box was recycled into a bunch of Girl Scout cookie boxes? And what if those little bitches charge me for my own box? See what I mean? The anger. Anyways, bop it! What? Solo. Solo. <sighs> the start. You know what? 
Okay, I didn't know I was in an abusive relationship with this Bop It. <laughs> wow. You know what, Bop It? Fuck you. Hello? Bop It? Pull It? Maybe this just proves that uh, I need to not glamorize childhood. Maybe these cool toys weren't actually that cool, and maybe I was fine with my box. All right, let's go get some Girl Scout cookies. Here's Riley. She follows me everywhere. Riley, do you want to come get some Girl Scout cookies? You do? Oh my gosh. Do you want to play Bop It with me? Is that an eye booger? Okay. <laughs> Okay, I'm trying to figure out what to wear for my first adventure out in the world alone. <laughs> I haven't left the house alone since we were in Colorado, so this is like scary for me. Don't worry, I have my faith over fear leopard cross. I never leave home without it. Lep Lord. Okay, what should I wear? I bought these shoes that are so fucking ugly. Nobody would ever want to fucking wear them. And I bought them for so much money on Poshmark because they don't sell them anymore because nobody fucking wanted them. These are my Jurassic tops. <laughs> so they're Jurassic Park themed uh, shoes and they're just hideous, but I love them. So should I wear these? I don't know, ooh, I'm nervous. Mm. Does anybody else put their underwear on hangers? Just me? Okay. Like, I just like to air them out. Like, even though they're clean, like I wash them, but I like to air them out. Okay, I wear them a couple times in a row. So honestly, for me, like when I wear underwear, that's a good day. That's like a, oh, she's a businesswoman. Okay, change in three, two, one. <laughs> I look the same. I'm trying to wear more colors now. I'm trying not to just wear black all the time because of all my body dysmorphia issues. I know you didn't think this was gonna turn into that kind of video, but when does it not? It's like every time I have a therapy session, I'm like, I'm gonna be positive today. And then two minutes later, I'm like, and that's why the world hates me. And she's like, great, see you at our next session. See, so yeah, I'm trying to wear more colors. So I have my little jean jacket. I got these little lime green buttons on it. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't wear my Jurassic shoes. I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready for that kind of judgment from these scouts. Like, cause when you go to the scouts, like you have to turn it out. Like if you walk into the Girl Scouts and you're not fish, oh, they're throwing you back in the lake. That didn't make any sense. I've been watching too much Drag Race. If you're gonna be around those scouts, you know they're coming hard. You know they're gonna have all their buttons. They're gonna have their hair pressed. They're gonna have their accessories. They're gonna have their little shoes. They're gonna have their little heels. And they're gonna be like, oh, you wanted cookies? Why a night alone? <laughs> they're gonna be gaggling with their girls. I'm not ready for that. Like I wanna walk up to these Girl Scouts and I want them to be like, oh, mother! Yeah, I really need to stop watching Drag Race. Okay, let's go. Okay. Does anybody else get really nervous before they leave the house? I'm like scared. Why am I scared? <sighs> Nothing bad can happen to me. Except literally everything, oh my God. Okay, let's go. Oh shit, I have to unplug it. Oh God, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh my God, I don't fit in between the washer and the Tesla. <laughs> okay. I would say this is off to a not great start. Ah, there we go. Whew. Get my Stanley. <laughs> What's like a man version of a Karen? Okay, I literally don't fit. Okay, I don't fit. Oh my god. Oh. Ah! Ah! It's squishing me! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I don't know how to get out! Oh my god! Wait. Ah, oh, there we go. Oof! They need a big boy setting. Okay. Aldi! 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 Oh my god, it worked! Oh my god, he has the heated seats on? Why? Why are skinny people so cold? <laughs> Like why? I don't understand. Is that offensive? I don't know. God, I wish I was skinny. No, I don't. Body positivity. God, I wish I was bigger. No, I don't. God, I wish I was the size I am. Love the skin you're in. Not too much. Then you're a narcissist. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Okay, I made it out of the driveway. It only took me 20 minutes. It kept telling me I was gonna crash every five seconds. It's like my intrusive thoughts. All right, so let's go to Aldi. I'm not gonna film this because I shouldn't be filming and driving because that's bad. So we're gonna go and we're gonna get the cookies and I'll be right back. But first, white bitch. Okay, I made it to the store. <laughs> this is like giving updates to a family member who's worried about me. Like, I got in the car, I made it to the store, I'm okay. So I'm just letting you guys know, I'm okay. Ooh, I want Taco Bell. No, I can't, I can't have Taco Bell alone, but you guys are here. <laughs> okay, we'll figure that out later. Let's go to Aldi. Okay, I'm in Aldi and I already saw something very sketchy. Mini Bear Grams by Benton. Those are Teddy Grams. Right? Those are literally tetagrams. There's no way. They're not the same fucking thing. Okay, I found fake Samoas that are supposedly from the same manufacturer and somebody already ate them. <laughs> okay. okay, I'm doing this in the other video, but look at that. Look how they literally set it up. Like right next to it. Like, what? Just hanging out in the bathroom. <laughs> it's nice. I can't wait for my future children to watch this one day. I bet you there's been children made in here. <laughs> I don't know where to set up the camera. <laughs> okay. Whew. Okay. 
I got a lot. I was not expecting to get salad dressing. Okay, I am genuinely, sorry, there's a 90 year old woman eating a burrito next to me. <laughs> I love you. I love you. That's my goal. <sighs> Fuck, that was a big bite. She made eye contact. Okay, she's smiling. Hi, okay. I think I made a friend. See, leaving the house is good. So I was not expecting to be so shook by that story. I should not have went in there first. I should have waited for tomorrow when we film this other video so my reaction is like bigger for that because I was not expecting that. They are ripping off everyone. <laughs> like everyone, it is crazy. Like, like how do you have a store where everything in it is a rip off of something else but then you have the balls to put the actual thing in the store too? That is next level petty. <laughs> That is Aldi, Petty, Aldi. That's why I got the salad dressing because I heard that their Tuscan Garden Italian dressing is the same manufacturer, the same insides, the same everything as the Olive Garden dressing that they sell at the store for way more expensive. So I'm gonna go grab an Olive Garden one. All right, so let's go find some Girl Scouts. I'm gonna find some salad dressing. We have a lot to do today, guys. Strap in. Okay, I'm at Ralph's. No Girl Scouts yet, but I did find it literally looks just like the one I have in the car from Aldi. That is crazy. All right, let's get in and see if it's the same. Another store, another bathroom, because I have no bladder control. I'm not paying, that's a sink, by the way. Okay, I'm gonna go. <sighs> oh, I'm so annoyed. I can't find Girl Scout cookies anywhere. Where are you, girls? What are you doing, your homework? Chores, hanging out with your friends? Like, get to work. <laughs> but at least so far, I do have my two dressings. Which, okay, just by looking at them, wow. They are identical. Hold on, can you tell, like, they are literally the same. Even the bottles, right? Oh my God, the same bottle. So we haven't tasted it yet, so I can't say for sure, but let me see, like, how much? Wow, I feel like a coupon, Karen. Okay. <laughs> so the Olive Garden dressing is $5, okay? And the Aldi dressing, <gasps> $1.99. Why am I so shook by dressing? <laughs> what? Fuck the Girl Scout cookies. This is crazier to me. Oh my God. Okay, let me look at the ingredients. Oh my God. I don't notice one difference. Hold on, I need you to see this. Okay, so look, 80 calories, eight grams of fat, 1.5 saturated fat. If you look at the ingredients, water, soybean oil, distilled vinegar, sugar, salt, cheese culture, egg, dried garlic. Well, they called it dehydrated garlic, but it's the same thing. Literally the same ingredients. So this is crazy. So let's go taste it. And I need to find some Girl Scout cookies. This is not a drill. We have to go. Guess what? What? I'm a vlogger. <laughs> Shane vlogs? New channel? No, nobody wants that. Um, no, I don't know what I'm doing. I was just testing out the camera today, testing out my hair, you know, just testing things out. Wait, is this a return to your main channel? Are you back here better than ever? <laughs> Uh, I don't know if I'm back and I'm probably at my worst, but you know what ladies? I'm still here. Um, okay, before I get to what I want to do with you, it's not, it's, it, it involves food. I mean, that's great. Perfect. Well, before I get to that, I am so excited. I just checked the mail and I have a surprise for you. Well, okay, I need to explain what this is and why. <laughs> do you want me to vlog for you? Oh, well, but now it's not a vlog, now it's just a video. Well, I, could, I mean, this is now like my vlog. <laughs> Oh my god, this is like an MCU crossover. <laughs> wow. Um, okay, so I went a little crazy on What? <laughs> you can't make it worse! <laughs> I went a little crazy on Valentine's Day and I got you a lot of things. But there was one thing that didn't come until right now. So we've been watching a lot of Drag Race, as you remember from earlier in this vlog. <gasps> Mother! And we both need to stop. But before we quit, I have one thing for you that you've been really wanting, and I found it, but I haven't opened it yet, so I don't know if it's gonna suck or not. I can't even make a guess something that's this size. Okay, so I hope it's good. Wait, now I'm nervous. It's inspired by one of your favorite uh, drag queens from this season. I almost dropped it. It's fine. <laughs> oh my gosh. Crystal jewelry? I mean, don't get your hopes up, huh? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my gosh! By the way, your reaction to that is more than when I got you like a Cartier ring. <laughs> so like, this was like $50 on Etsy, but I'll take it, I'll take the reaction. Wow, oh my gosh. Is it too much to wear in your video? No, wear it. Whoa, well hold on, first I need to see it. <laughs> in the sun, this is gonna be like, Bling, oh my gosh. Wow, that's beautiful. I'm gonna wanna show off the buckle too. 
Here so on, oh, do you want to put it on me? It's so romantic. So on Drag Race, one of the queens, uh, Spice, she has her little necklace. Do you like it? Yes, oh my gosh. Wow, it feels heavy. Like I feel like a bad bitch with something heavy on. <sighs> oh, the name's Ryland. Were you confused as to why I was gone all day? What? Wow. Yeah, what, what were you doing? You can't even focus, huh? <laughs> No. What, do you need to go do a show or what do you need to do? <laughs> okay, continue. No, yeah, I like cannot believe you left the house alone and drove alone. Where were you? Well, I was doing some research for the video we're shooting tomorrow. Although, I could not find Girl Scout cookies, so I had to Amazon them, so those won't be here for... <laughs> She's changed me. Those will be here for a couple days, so... Do you have a wig? Right now? I mean, I was just like... Oh my god, I thought you were asking me if I was wearing a piece. <laughs> I do have a wig. Do you need a wig? <laughs> well, I feel like, I mean, are we doing a taste test? Yeah. Okay, let me change. Let me just do a little something. Okay, you go do a little something. Maybe I'll set up in a different room. Can we do a trick? Oh, I was gonna do like a spin and then I was gonna be back as a new woman. We can trick. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, get out of my shop. Oh, oh okay. Okay, so I just have to remember I spun here. <laughs> okay, let's do your transition. Okay, you ruined it though. How? Like it's in a different location. We need to. I marked my spot <laughs> so the transition would be in the same place. I'll, I mean, I'll still try. You can see what you can work with what you got. But you were supposed to like. Have you never transitioned? <laughs> Three, two. I need a. Stronger. Okay. I need a stronger <laughs> well, you have to say your catchphrase because like whenever the drag queens enter the work room, they have like a thing they say. Like, like what would your thing be? I don't have one. Okay. Okay. What about this? Ryland. Land. Landfill. Ooh, landfill. Ryland. More like my land for you to fill. That's good. Thank you. Anyways, come on. You can join. What? You're shocked at how beautiful I am? It kind of looks like, you know, when you go to YouTube and you see those like fake thumbnails where it's like, what happened to Jojo Siwa? And it's like her, and then on the other side, it's this. And then you click on it because you're like, what happened? Okay, so you know I've been playing that video about like corporations making fake products and blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. So I thought this was too boring for the actual video, so we're doing it here. These are the same dressings. I've already talked to them about this. Wait, is this not the actual video? No, this is like my second channel or like a side thing. Oh, okay. Oh, you feel demoted? Yeah, I, I thought, <laughs> you know, I thought I was hitting the main channel. <laughs> no, it, I would have shaved if I was hitting the main channel. I am the main channel. Um, so these dressings, one of them is Olive Garden and one is Tuscan Garden. Bitch, five, they're the same. Five dollars, two dollars. So let's try them and see if they are the same. <gasps> Wait, is that the expensive one or the cheap one? Oh my gosh. The cheap one doesn't have a seal. Huh. That's where they're saving coin. <laughs> Mmm, smells delicious. Oh, it smells like Olive Garden. Wait, which one is that? The not Olive Garden. Let's try the real one first. Mm -hmm. Okay. Really? We're just drinking dressing? Okay. Cheers. That is fucking good. It's so good. Oh so God. intense when you're eating it alone. <laughs> Makes me cough. Wow. Exactly what Olive Garden uses for sure. Mm. Ooh. I heard someone was looking for endless breadsticks. Ooh, that was good. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. I have an endless salad you can toss. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm in the market for, oh, no. <laughs> that was so sad. Maybe that's your thing. Maybe you're an insecure uh, drag queen. But were you? Got any breadsticks? That was what mine was. I know. Okay. <laughs> All right, now let's try the fake one. It looks identical so far. So remember, this one was only like a dollar. That one was five. That's the same. I think, ooh, it's variabling. What? Wow, it made me glitch. Wow, no, the second, okay, hold on. Do we have like a, I should, okay, I need to like pour them out into something to really show it. Hold on, entertain them. Oh my god, I thought of your drag name. What? Okay, but it only makes sense if you're doing stuff with Olive Garden. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, ready? <laughs> Olivia Garden Rico. <laughs> <laughs> Olivia Garden Rico, it's good. 
Okay. <laughs> All right, let's <laughs> let's pour this dressing. Wow. Mm. I mean, you cannot tell in terms of. There's no way that that's different. Wait, hold them. There's not a chance in hell. Wait, which ones? This is the fake one. I honestly don't remember. I mean, they're the same. <laughs> That's nuts. <laughs> and the cheaper one's two dollars? Yeah, versus five. I know. Oh my gosh. What? The ingredients are same. Wow. Exactly the same. I told you. Is that crazy? The salad dressings are the same. No doubt in my mind. This one I'm nervous about because like, if this is the same. Oh, we're saving money year round, baby. And this is where the plot really thickens. I'm afraid to even say this one because I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this. And I'm not saying this one is confirmed. I'm saying this one is a rumor. Girls got cookies. I don't wanna hear it. <laughs> Chris, we're doing this. Hey guys, we're gonna be seeing if we can taste the difference. We found some cookies at Aldi's. So Aldi has their own company called Pinkton. No. <laughs> Sorry, I'm upset. And I got the caramel coconut fudge cookies. And these little babies are $5 a box, but you can only get them during Girl Scout season. Unless you go to Aldi and you get these bad boys all year round for $1.50. And supposedly, not confirmed, these are the same cookie. So me and Boo are going to take turns putting on a blindfold and see if we can taste the real difference. Okay, I'm so confused. Did you put the same cookie on two plates? <laughs> no! And supposedly Aldi went to the manufacturer and they said, hey, do you want to sell cookies all year round? Come on over to us. The Girl Scout cookies were baked by Interstate Foods. These were baked by... It doesn't say. I'm a professional on that specific brand, so I'll be able to know. <laughs> all right, you open up the real ones and I'll open up the fake. Okay, are you ready? Oh my god. Wait, show the fronts, show the same size. I guess this is a little darker in color. Yeah, this one is a little darker. I wonder if it just is a toasted batch. Like, it looks like it was cooked in the oven a little too long. Even though they're manufactured the same place, the process is different. Other yeah. than being darker, they don't. All right, so let's both try one of each. Are you doing real first? Real. Mm, that's just tough. Oh my god. Mm. Okay, yeah, that's good. Fake. Kind of tell a difference to say your life. No way, even Literally with the color? Identical. Literally identical. Literally identical. Identical, identical. Oh my even with the color? Oh my gosh. Man. How could you not just want to like die eating these? Wow. Wait, I'm actually so upset about this one. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay, hopefully you guys enjoyed whatever the hell this was, I don't know. Uh, I haven't vlogged like this in so long, but I just, I wanted to do something and have fun and not worry about it and just get comfortable again on camera because to be honest, I have not, am I about to get murdered? Ooh, fun for you guys. <laughs> So yeah, uh, I don't know, it felt good to just have fun and not think about it and just pick up the camera and do this. So I don't know if I'll ever post this, but if I do, hopefully you enjoyed watching it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys at some point. That's a depressing sign off. See you guys at some point. <laughs> Bye. Uh, no, I'll see you guys soon, hopefully. Okay, bye.